Oh yeah, MJ, I watched The Predator. Oh yeah, you mentioned about that. Go ahead. Oh boy, where do I start? I you really, too. Really oh, don't like dear. Oh dear. Uh oh. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Uh, the fact that there are two predators competing against each other is. I uh, get the idea, but the overall acting between uh, th uh, the main cast uh, is just stupid. And Thomas Jane being so, sort of like a schizophrenic or uh, uh, acting weirdly, it really uh, didn't make sense. And uh, there, there was one scene where the Predator uh, did... Uh, use like a voice analyzer and then he could talk English uh, and uh, to to the humans and uh, and, and he uh, how can I put it he kidnapped one of the uh, a, a kid or something to do experiments on so and he was leaving uh, earth well he was starting to leave but then uh, the humans uh, blew up his uh, spaceship and uh, at the end there was like when they uh, captured the first predator there was some armor that they uh, stored and all of a sudden they reactivated this armor and it uh, it attached itself onto a human uh, almost like a super predator type thing you know and oh man, that uh, whole movie is just a complete disaster, really, in my opinion. Raiden, by the sounds of things, you sounded like you saw that as well. So go ahead. Remember when I said Shane Black should have stayed away from Iron Man 3? Uh, mm -hmm. no. He should have stayed away from this movie. Oh my god. There was a lot of things I did not like about it. Okay. From just Okay. On all honestly the movie should have been called A Boy and A Boy and His Predator Dog. That that's 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 how I felt cuz it was the whole focus was on him. It's like okay. Autism, yeah. You know, it's a crazy thing. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I have some, I have some of it, so I kind of identified with it, especially how okay. smart the smart the look look the, the little kid was. But dude, you put it in a predator movie? Seriously? Now, for anyone oh. who doesn't know, me me and the predator me and predator have a have a have a pretty fun relationship. He's personally one of my favorite. Favorite, my favorite monsters ever in cinema. But God, okay, the way the first one looked was cool, but the second one, I felt like it was very uninspired. It's like they really did not try. It's it mm -hmm. was that. Oh my God, the the characters I found I kind of found enjoyable, but I felt like there were ways. I felt like they try they were trying to capture the love that. The original Predator hat with 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 the with with the uh, the Ar o OG army Ar OG army cast with uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, but God damn, it was just so overdone. Now I'll give it this: it was gory, and I kind of like gore at times. But it's like I was already annoyed with the movie itself, and I was just waiting for it to end. And that ending, oh, uh, 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 that ending. Uh, if I could give it a rating, I would give it a fuck you. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. God damn. Yeah. Also, that's didn't a, that's you, didn't you see that um, autism, like the Nick, was the next stage of evolution? I'm like, oh, uh, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, think <laughs> that, like, autism, the boy's autism, like, it was a next stage of evolution. I'm like, uh, I have the mutants. The mutants. Uh, I, I can about that. But that's not the case. Yeah, like I said, I was this I was this close to get, get some bullshit, but uh, watching that movie, 
Okay. Uh, there were some funny things, and I enjoyed it, but inside I was, like, just done. So, yeah. Still, I gave him I gave him a fuck you. I mean, yeah. you... Can... Yeah, it's my uh, my mistake. I, I thought it was schizophrenia. Yeah, you're correct. Autism, yeah. I mean, I mean don't get me wrong. You can get uh, some people who are autistic but have a very... Um, high intelligence level where there are high functioning, um, you know, um, aut autistic member of I, society. Um, I think that's called, uh, for someone who is like intelligent in some aspects, but may have like lower, might be like lo lacking in others. Isn't that like savant? Savantism? Yeah, I, I believe so. Because one... Um, example i can think of and to those that have seen um the most modern um interpretation of sherlock holmes on the bbc they do actually say in one episode i think it was dealing with the modern adaptation of the hound of the baskervilles um story they do actually say I think it was actually Lestrade and and Watson talking about Sherlock Holmes's Asperger's, which I thought, okay, that's an interesting um, interesting detail to have with the character because, as said, you can have people who do have autism but have very high functioning intelligence to where it's almost on where it's pretty much on genius level because look at bill gates he has asperger's syndrome yet he's intelligent and successful you know it um you know gifted people that the world has ever known um there's another one um i know that um I think just keep that in mind says that he's actually got that, but he's just learned to work with it and actually help himself develop some social skills so that he could just, you know, integrate and not have um, like any anxieties. Cause I know Raiden that you spoke of uh, one time where you do have um, anxiety problems. Uh, sometimes when you're around, it's something that, that you do struggle with on occasion. Correct. But like but like but I think I mentioned one SK one SKL. I do I do go to therapy for that. And I okay. and it's and it's and it's usually it helps it helps out when you talk when you talk about it talk about the problem more instead of holding it in because when you hold it in it's it is not it's not fun yeah. for everybody. So wow. yeah. Good on, good on you mate. Thank you. I think there's actually a line from Knight Rider SG, and I think Duran will probably uh, probably validate this. In the in the pilot episode, there's a line between him and Deanna Rousseau's Sarah Grayman where he says, sometimes when um, discussing... That. As I was saying, um, there's a line from from Kit to Sarah that says, when verbally expressing an you know an emotional grief verbally it can bring peace of mind yeah i remember mm -hmm. that yes. it's hard to think that it's been 10 years since that pilot episode and you know let me just go on to a small tangent even though that series had problems it did i'm not gonna deny it it's probably the most one of the more meaningful attempts at trying to do a modern Knight Rider so many years after the original. Because here's to this day, the original is such a tough act to follow. Season four uh, not being included. Um, <laughs> one knows bad, what about bad memories. Four. There, there are a couple of uh, exceptions in mm. season four, but very few. Like yeah. uh, Knight of the Juggernaut, Scent yeah. of Roses, Killer yeah. Kit. Yep. 